Let's talk about blood stasis in intestines, spleen, and stomach deficiency. The clinical manifestations of blood stasis in the intestines are chronic diarrhea, blood in the stools, abdominal pain that is worse on pressure, and the tongue will be purple and the pulse is wiry or firm, often wiry on both rear positions. The treatment principle is to move chi and invigorate blood. The points to choose from are spleen 4, pericardium 6, liver 3, spleen 10, kidney 14, stomach 25, bladder 25, stomach 37, and stomach 39 with an even method. The spleen 4 and pericardium 6 regulate the penetrating vessel and invigorate blood in the intestines. Liver 3 and spleen 10, spleen 10 invigorate blood in the lower abdomen. Kidney 14 is a point of the penetrating vessel which invigorates blood. Stomach 25 and bladder 25 are the front collecting and back transporting points of the large intestine and regulate the intestines and stop diarrhea. Stomach 37 and stomach 39 regulate the intestines, stop diarrhea, and stop abdominal pain. The spleen and stomach deficiency clinical manifestations are loose stools, sometimes like water, thin stools, sometimes with mucus, and increased frequency of bowel movement, poor appetite, slight abdominal distension, a feeling of oppression of the chest, a sallow complexion, and tiredness. The tongue will be pale and will have teeth marks. The pulse will be weak. The treatment principle is to strengthen the spleen and benefit the stomach. The points are REN 12, bladder 20, bladder 21, stomach 36, spleen 6, REN 6, stomach 25, stomach 37, do 20 with the reinforcing method. The REN 12 and bladder 20, bladder 21, stomach 36, and spleen 6, tonify stomach and spleen. REN 6, tonifies chi. The moxa and ginger on this point is the best method for intestinal problems from a deficient and cold spleen. The stomach 25 and stomach 37 stop diarrhea and do 20 raises spleen chi and helps to stop diarrhea. Let's look at this case history of a 37-year-old man who had been suffering from diarrhea for five years. His tools were always loose and occasionally like water. He was often very tired and his head felt muzzy. His pulse was very weak on the right side and his tongue was pale and swollen. The diagnosis is a clear case of spleen chi deficiency with some dampness and phlegm. It is dampness and phlegm in the head that caused it to feel muzzy. The treatment principle used was to tonify spleen chi and resolve dampness. This patient was treated with acupuncture and a patent remedy. The main acupuncture points used with the reinforcing method were stomach 36, spleen 6, bladder 20, bladder 21, REN 12 to tonify stomach and spleen, and stomach 25 and REN 6 with moxa on ginger to tonify chi and stop diarrhea. And stomach 37 for the lower C point of the large intestine is specific to stop chronic diarrhea. Thank you so much for your attention.